cooking white trout. See them? See it? See it? Got two there. Caught these on the bridge the other night. These are normally what people use for bait. Got you now. That was close. He almost got me. Yeah, the weather changed. I gotta unhook the trailer from last night. I think the temperature's probably dropped like 20 degrees. I'd say it's like low 40s, mid 40s. I don't know, I'm guessing. Kayak got washed off last night. Oh, nothing got wet. I didn't close it. Kayak's clean, that's for sure. It's raining. So don't judge me. I was in a hurry last night. Got home at like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I didn't get to clean the fish, threw them on ice because I knew this morning. Today we were gonna eat them. Basically just threw them on ice and I'm gonna flay them here in a minute. So anyways, heading to the gym now. If I don't freeze to death. All right, I covered them up the best I could. It's freezing cold out here, I'm getting wet. She's going to back out of the gym. Can't blame her. It's 39 degrees. But, you know, when I put my mind to something, as far as training, it is locked in your schedule. There is no getting around the gym. It's like scheduled in like eating. You go to the gym. Because you got to keep yourself... Because you got to keep yourself in check. It's discipline, discipline, discipline. And... So I am headed to the gym. It's five o'clock on a Friday, and I'm going to the gym. Oh, that's a fact, Jack. I'm not really feeling comfortable about leaving my yellow kayak on its bottom. It's gonna be there for like three or four days. It's supposed to get cold to hot. But it was pouring down rain. It's only gonna be there for like two or three days. So what I've learned over the years is that you can leave the Hobie Outback on its bottom for about three or four days. That's what I'm trying to say. I've left it on its bottom for probably a week. The way you see it on that trailer, the Outback, did start to get a little indentation after about a week, sitting on rails. And they pop right back out once I got it down and got it going. So if you're wondering how long you can put a Hobie Outback on its bottom, on a trailer, about a week. As long as there's not weight in it and it's not strapped down. Don't strap them down. cooking white trout. See them? See it? See it? Got two there. Caught these on the bridge the other night. These are normally what people use for bait. But they're still really good. If you can get them big, like that one, or that one, they're really good to eat. I think that'll eat. All right, so that's the final product. Uh, garlic, dill, lemon juice, salt, pepper. I think that was it. Pretty simple recipe for a Friday night and a protein booster. Even Jimmy says so. Christy is co-producer. <laughs> All right, this one was done with Tony's lemon. We've got background uh, editors over there. Not running shoes. Pretty good. That's good. Good flavor. Told you. Told you. It's good. I like that. And healthy. Yeah. It's not bad for uh, probably the easiest fish to catch on the bridge. I'm not joking. You can't limit out on these things. It's like every time you drop it down, you catch one of these things. There's no way you should starve around the three mile bridge. All right, here's my taste test. It's really good. It's actually kind of warm from the oven warm. It's 
super easy. All I did was scale it, gut it, cook it for 375 for 20 minutes with some doggone ah, herbs God. and and butter, and we're good to go. And his Tony's. <laughs>